Oh, now, I love that. A, I love that. If you're a passionate gardener <laughs> looking to spread the love like I am, <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you're a gardener that doesn't have a space to dig in. So Rebecca Cole suggests looking around your community to plant your passion. I'm always asked for gardening advice from my family, my friends, and even my local community. In fact, I decided to help this bank out bring a little garden love to their entrance. So first piece of advice, you want to consider your pots and how they represent the building they're standing in front of. I mean, people think pots are a pair of jeans. They're not. You really want it to match. So this building here has a lot of warm tones. It's got the metal. So we selected a pot that is dark brown and notice the texture on the side. This will pick up the texture on the brick as well. Now, as far as the plants are concerned, this is where it gets a little bit tricky because the entrance of this building is shady in the morning and then bright sun in the afternoon. So I've got a collection of plants that will serve double duty and we'll just keep our fingers crossed that they will grow and look beautiful by the end of the summer. Now, good potting soil is going to be your key to success. Trust me, it really is. So I like to start with new potting soil every year. Um, this one has time-release fertilizer in it, and it's got a lot of peat. So that means it's going to hold the water. That's good, especially on hot summer days. But initially, when we plant our plants, we want to make sure that this soil is already moistened. So let's water it up before we plant. Now the reason we're watering the soil first is that we want the plants to dive right in into a nice moist environment so that they transplant well and they don't go into shock. Now the fun part, we plant. Now you'll see the colors of plants that I selected. It of course is going to play really well off the warm tones of this building. So we start with something that gives us height. So for that, I found this beautiful scarlet canna. We're going to plant this right in the middle. Okay, now when we take a look at the root system, this is a very healthy plant, nice and white. However, they're all clustered together. We want to spread the legs of these roots. So we're going to very gently tear them apart like so, and this will help the plant really take off. Okay, so this is lovely. This is our thriller. This is what's going to grow to be pretty tall. It's kind of the focal point of the pot. Now we need a chiller, something in between, say around here. So for that, I have this beautiful osteosporum and we'll plant it right next to the canna. Okay, thriller, we've got chillers. They'll grow, they'll be about right here. Now we need something to soften the edges of the plant, the spiller. For this, we'll use this lime green potato vine. Look how nicely, again, it complements all the plants we already have. So we're going to plant it here. It's going to grow up and over. It's going to look really cool. Okay, as you can see, I really packed in the flowers. There's nothing worse than realizing you need more flowers, because trust me, you won't find them after a while. So pack them in, we can always take something out. Other than that, we want to keep it well watered, especially on those hot days. And don't forget to fertilize every couple of weeks. All right, guys, come and take a look. What do you think? It's absolutely beautiful. Ooh, do you like beautiful. it? Beautiful. Well, what the color's going to add. Yeah, and, and right now it looks like nothing, really. In a couple of months, it's going to be an explosion of beautiful color. Well, who's going to take care of that and make sure that happens? Well, you're going to have to watch it. But part of the community spirit that I am investing in is I'll come by every week or so. I'll make sure it's watered, and I'll do some deadheading. And that's really what you want to do if you want to share your love with the community. Rebecca Coles, WCCO 4 News. There's always great ideas from Rebecca. She knows, makes it look so easy. She also says, don't just think flowers. Mix your pots with herbs and veggies. And those combos, she says, can be incredible and edible. Rebecca's got an Instagram. Make sure you give her a follow on the IG. She's got more ideas and inspiration for you. Just search Rebecca Coles. This plant's getting some sun this morning. Kirsten yeah.